Before you start this video, I would like you guys to hit that like button and share this video. By doing so, you help this video move through the algorithm. Today's message is going to be a message of caution to those who steal and why you shouldn't steal from witches or people that practice sorcery. I'm not talking about voodoo priest or priestess. I'm talking about witches, sorcerers, people who do black magic. When you go to a witch's home, it's not best to touch things or even take things that's not yours. Morally, it's not right. Secondly, there's spirits that's watching over people's personal belongings. You may not see them with your two eyes, but they see you. And not only that, you have to keep in mind that witches, whether they're in a coven or whether they're just friends, there's contacts all around. And if you're a person that's on social media and you're active, it's not going to be difficult for people to get at you. See, when you steal from people who live that life, you can bring damnation to your children. You can bring damnation to your family. And not only that, you can bring damnation and woe onto your head. See, a lot of you people don't think about these things when you're doing this. You can run from a drug dealer. You can run from a gang member. You can travel across state. But one thing about magic is that you can run but you can't hide you can go to the end of the earth travel and hide witches are going to find you let me tell you something forget about the human aspect for a moment understand that spirits can be anywhere they can be at multiple places at once. When you do such things, and especially if that thing that you've stole or whether it was money, you gotta think that some of these items may have sentimental value. It could have been a rosary that a grandmother left behind to her children. It could have been a ring that someone deceased left behind and you take that. And that deceased individual is attached to that. When you steal it, you can bring, whoa. You can bring hostile forces into your life that you wouldn't even imagine. You're just going to see things begin to transpire. You may write that off as, oh, this is just a coincidence. And this is why the scripture said, if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall in a ditch and for you jack boys out there choose 
your victims carefully. I know you want to get up on social media and post up, yeah, yeah, I got this guy chained whatsoever. I snatch his chain, yeah, yeah. It's doing a tour around the community so you can get up your clout. But make sure you don't do that to the wrong person. Because yes, you may have guns to kill people. You may have guns to rob people. But when the spirits come for you, there's no gun in the world that will be able to protect you. See, for you young ladies out there that have pimps pushing you to go out and steal things, or you have jewelers that are getting into your head, oh, go do this, go do that, and bring this back to me and I'll give you X amount of dollars. You have to understand that that person doesn't even realize the jeopardy that they're putting you in. Law enforcement can be involved. Not only that, you have the spirits that are watching you. So when death comes knocking at your door, is that jeweler going to be able to protect you? Is that pimp going to be able to protect you? I got guys in the jewelry industry, and come on, I hear the stories. These guys got women, you know, uh, stealing from men from Rolex watches to diamond rings and bringing it back to them. I hear stories all the time. So with that said, I hope this gave you something to think about. You strippers out there, you call girls out there. 